why it is important to let children fail. As parents, we applaud every win our children made, be it big or small. The rows of trophies and medals are proof of our children's accomplishments and ours as well. However, letting children face failure from time to time is essential for their overall well-being. In a world where accomplishments among young children are celebrated and marveled upon, it seems strange to be told that we should let our children fail instead. Here are reasons why it is important to let our children fail from time to time. Number one, learn from mistake. Failure brings upon the chance to learn from mistake and to correct it the next time round. Imagine having a smooth sailing life where there is no setback and no failures. There is nothing to learn and nothing to improve on. There will not be any progress in humankind as all of us would have thought what we have is already perfect. Albert Einstein famously failed in more than 1,000 experiments when inventing the light bulb. However, instead of calling it quit or calling it failed, Einstein merely shrugged it off as 1,000 lessons of what did not work and progressed from there. When faced with failure, children learn what works and what does not and hence will not repeat the same mistake. Number 2. Brings Humility Success and winnings bring about joy and proud moments, but it may also bring upon arrogance. Let me clarify that not all children will turn to be arrogant and proud the moment they achieve something. However, we must accept that there is a chance, no matter how remote, that success would make our children feel pompous or conceited. No one likes a proud and arrogant child. Besides that, children who are full of themselves are usually stubborn and not open to suggestions or opinions. Failure, on the other hand, brings upon humility. When faced with failure, children learn that they are much to be improved on and are more open to suggestions and help. They know that they are not perfect and strive to be better. Number 3. Develops character Everyone faces setback with different frame of minds. Some learn from it, some feel dejected, while others do not seem to be affected at all. The ways children go through each life experience show the tendency of their characters. When parents sense something out of character, they could act on it right away and not let the bad behavior fester. As children face failure or setbacks, parents could teach them about fixed and reality growth mindset. It is important to help children develop the right character or mindset when they are young. Besides reality growth mindset, it is equally important to help children develop grit. Having gone through failure or setback is a good background to develop such characters as children can better relate their experiences than through something imaginary. Number 4. Accelerates Growth Feeling and learning from mistakes is how children learn and grow. No one is able to do anything the first time round. As children learn from their mistakes and improve on it, their brains are stimulated to think critically. Active brain stimulation leads to physical and mental growth. Minds that are not challenged will become lazy and inactive. Imagine a toddler learning to walk. If she gives up, Upon first fall, there is no way that she will be able to walk and run in the future. 
Only through falls and trying again that her legs developed the muscles to walk steadily. Number 5. Mature on own pace Everyone is different, including children. Each of them grow in their own pace and acquire maturity in their own course of time. However, this process can be helped along as children go through different experiences. Each experience is an opportunity for children to learn and to gain insights into what future holds. Failure is also an experience that every child needs to go through and mature from. In order to bounce back from failure, children need to overcome fear, insecurity and self-doubt to be able to gain success the next time round. All this will lead to maturity. Number 6. Regulate feelings Failure comes with it feelings of sadness and disappointment. However, this should not be viewed as something negative. When faced with such a situation, children are given the chance to learn the setback of feeling and to express their feelings, whether it is positive or negative. Being able to regulate their feelings is an essential part of growth. Learning to regulate and communicate their feelings help children to have healthy mindset and self-esteem. In the process, they learn to be empathetic towards others as well. Feeling is an experience every child should face. What is more important is the ability to bounce back. While we can't avoid letting children face failure from time to time, we can help them gain positive outcome from each setback they face. Here are what parents can do to help when their children face a setbacks. Do not jump in to help at first sign of difficulty. Help them identify and talk about their feelings. Encourage them to work harder. Brainstorm together on ways to overcome problems. Tell them stories about people who fail but make a great comeback. Celebrate effort instead of outcome. Teach them reality growth mindset. Teach them greed and resilience. Do not compare children with others. There you are why it is important to let children fail. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.